Well, I think there was a couple of things that were challenging. One is we had to demonstrate to Canada West and the, at the time CIS and now U Sports, that we would be a good member. And by that, we, we had to meet certain standards. You know, whether it was the size of our gym, whether it was our, our competitive nature, whether it was we could provide the necessary funding to uh, fund teams at that level. Uh, you know, so there was always criteria. And so, you know, when we applied, when, obviously when we became a university in April 1, 2005, our goal was to be totally entrenched in youth sports and that's where we are today. The diff there, there was difficulty leaving the CCAA and PAC West at the time. Um, you know, I had a lot of good friends there. We had a very congenial group. Uh, they worked really well together and I just thought that, you know, that was going to be hard but there were some sports that we competed in that weren't in, in, you know, weren't sports in youth sports, so we were going to have to determine how we were going to deal with those, whether they'd become competitive clubs or whether they'd become clubs or whether we wouldn't support them, uh, you know, financially to the same degree we support a varsity program. Uh, you know, that's the, I think there are two athletic ones that stand out. One is um, when our men's volleyball team was in Laval and won the bronze medal at, at that time in the CIS, beating Laval in the opening round at Laval was, was great and then uh, going on to win the bronze and then I think our men's basketball team qualifying for the nationals a few years ago when we beat UBC at Calgary to qualify for the nationals and then lost to Calgary in the championship of Canada West but both of, of us went to the nationals then and we that though those were two I think highlights we had some great athletes come through here like great student athletes you know probably one for us was Ilya Pakamenko uh, you know being Canada West nominee as Female Athlete of the Year across all sports. And so there were only four of them nominated. She went and she didn't win it nationally, but she was a, a tremendous ambassador for TRU World, for TRU and for Canada So I think, that, you know, there are lots, but I think three that might stand out would be those three. Uh, no, not, you know what, I mean, I think I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the people I've worked with. I've enjoyed the coaches tremendously. I've enjoyed the staff that I've worked with. I think we've had great support from the city, from the Kamloops, uh, you know, overall, I think from the university. We've been very, very fortunate that our administration has been very supportive of athletics and recreation at Thompson Rivers University. I've worked for three presidents and three vice presidents, and I think they've all been really good, really supportive. And I, I think that the biggest thing is they, they care about athletics, they, and in turn, as a result, they care about our student athletes. And I think that's what's really important.